obviously gutted for I just seen Sean then gutted for Sean um, and obviously you know the game in general over here we could have done with that shot in the arm but um, you know I've been around these boys now for, for well over a month and um, the odds are probably stacked against these boys more than they have been in England I reckon to get to this final so um, to, to achieve this um, for such a small nation for such a small rugby league playing population it's phenomenal phenomenal this, this is probably a game that England expected back in Newcastle isn't it tight close game I don't, I don't, uh, no, so no, I don't think I did uh, you know I, I I obviously had the privilege of being in the camp for a week, so you know we had half the squad in England. We had 14 players in England, and the rest on the pitch in Australia. Literally, they came, they landed Sunday morning. We trained twice that week, so in terms of preparation, it was awful. Um, in terms of officiating, they, they just didn't, they didn't, have, they didn't have a clue what 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 it was going to be officiated. Like I did, I, you know, I understand what the rook tempo is like over here, so we adapted them. Um, we adapted fantastically over the next month, and we've had to. We've got a little bit better every time, and we're going to get a little bit better next week. What did you make of Australia last night? Um, yeah, Australia, Australia is Australia. Yeah. You, know, just, you know exactly what to expect there. When they get opportunities, they take them. And I've got a knack of winning. I've got a knack of winning, which is a special trait, I think. So, Like I said, this, this little old nation might be able to have caused a few upsets. Um, to get here, I think hopefully we can cause one more. You mentioned the disruption right at the start, but you, you lost a lot of players in that first game, didn't you? <laughs> we had no changes left. We had no changes left at half time. Everybody yeah. forgets that as well. So um, injuries, fluency, cohesion, whatever you want to call it, we just we didn't have any of that. But I didn't think we'd collapse like we did at the end for the last 20 minutes. Um, well, I credit to them that they brushed themselves down. Um, Really quick, and I mean really quick. By the time we got on the, by the time we got on the bus, um, and we're ready to go, like as you can tell. Yeah. The uh, the silver lining from the injuries was the emergence of Tim Tim Lafay. I mean, no, good 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 no, I think Liggy South coming into the into the crew. Um, they've they've been immense for me because you know when I see you can get away with this, some of the Aussie boys look at me as if to say, you know, you can't, surely not. But then they, they reiterate it because they've obviously had a couple of years over here, and um, that's been it's been fantastic reinforcement of some of the messages I've been delivering. I think. Did you bring Liggy South to Super League? I did. I did. So yeah. you, you know it. what you would. You know exactly problem. what I was getting, yeah. And look, Liggy's a bit, uh, middle, and he is an edge back row, but he's doing an unbelievable job as an edge back row. And he's a, uh, I'm one of the um, one of the appeals to me of bringing Liggy into campus is what he's like as a person in the block. He's a better block than a person in his rugby player, and that probably tells you a lot about what he is. I thought Lafayette might have been man of the match today. Was it pretty Phenomenal. Ball, just, it? just been. When we, when we named the squad originally, we had a bit of a coaches meeting about it, and obviously I'd put a few names forward, but I don't know whether, um, I don't know whether the, the Super League's got the respect that it deserves. Probably over there, that was. Probably when I put the photo or the call, that was my initial thought. Um, you know, everybody who I tossed up was almost sort of um, not, not. I don't know the word is. It's not, probably not given the respect that, that they deserve with the years they've had this year. But I'm, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing for Liggy. Buzzing for Danny Levi. Buzzing for Tim Lafay. Even for Kenny Edwards. Kenny Edwards is coming camp, and he probably deserves a Can mention because he. Had, sorry, Kenny Edwards. Kenny C. O. Even he hasn't. He hasn't participated, but he's been phenomenal off the pitch. He's been as good as a, a tourist as you can probably uh, ask for. Am I right in assuming that No Brown won't be able to play next week? Um. Oh look, I don't know. There's some I've got an head test. So they said give him an head test when they said they shouldn't have given him an head test because he was knocked out but he got an head test so we had to wait 10 minutes for that head test to finish to get Oregon Cafusi head tested so there was some real delay there he passed his head test so no Brown passed his head test so he didn't come back on he didn't come back on because they said he was knocked out but they shouldn't have given him an head test but they give him an head test so there's some this is going to be uh, this is yeah I think there's, I think there's, there's grounds for some appeal there. You I need think. him, don't you? No, no doubt. I th and can I just give a special mention to Chanel Harris as well? I think he played ten, seven minutes last week, seven minutes the week before, um, in the centre. Um, never played there before. Um, 
this week he comes on at nine. Uh, must have made four the tackles there. Uh, and been absolutely phenomenal for us. What was the message going into Golden Point? Um, yeah, obviously we'd, we'd practice for that. Um, so the message was a clear one. They just got a first shot at, um, at Milf um, with his first attempt. The second attempt, I ain't going to lie to you, my eyes are on Milf. Jeff Tove is actually on the field in the way of the play as well and has to run out the way of it and it goes to Critter. Steve Crichton is an incredible striker at a ball, whether it be from the, from the floor or out of hand or um, from a drop ball. He's, um, he's a very special talent. And I think you could see that in his execution. In terms of you as a coach, what are you going to gain from this going into the next Super League season? Because I'm going to learn how to dance with a skirt on, with my shirt off. I'm going to be well, awesome. I'm, I'm told you're pretty much an honorary Simone and a little birdie tells me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they say. So they keep telling me. Yeah, yeah. Look, I've always had a. I don't know what it is. It's with the Bradford thing. We had a lot of Polynesians, obviously, in the, in the club at the time I was there when I went to Hull. We had seven or eight, I think. Um, and now I'm surrounded by 20, 25, 26 of them, so, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I might get a sleeve next week, we'll see. Do they realise how much support they're going to get next week at Old Trafford? Um, probably not, probably not. I, you know, one of the disappointments is I don't know how it's going to affect the ticket sales with England. We've obviously not been there, but the, 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 all week I've been called a pommy. Well, we're playing them pommy bass, so I can't wait to, to call the Aussie bass. This week it's going to be fantastic because I'm going to say every opportunity. Um, so our coaching staff are going to be filming 